going on mission trip. Give him a, a big hand. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. All right. Hi, guys. I'm Emma. I just want to ask you a quick question to start out. By a raise of hands, how many of you guys have been on some sort of missions trip in your life? A couple? All right. Now, here's a question just to think about. What is something that has truly impacted your life or shaped who you are as a person? Now, for me, serving others and going on missions trips has certainly impacted the person I am today and my passions in life. Now, um, in 2012 and 2014, I went on week-long mission trips to Haiti, the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, she want to play it? Did you click present? <laughs> All right. Haiti ranks among the three worst countries in caloric intake per person daily. Unemployment is now 90% in Haiti, while 80% of Haitians live in abject poverty. There are over 400,000 children in Haiti without parents. These are just a few of the saddening facts that I knew before going to Haiti, but it didn't really hit me until I experienced it and saw it from my own eyes. From the moment we, our plan landed, landed, it was chaos. The sights, the sounds, and the smells. It was overwhelming. There were people everywhere. There were cars honking, the hot sun beating down. But I wasn't there for a vacation. I was there to offer my time and my help. While in Haiti, my team and I served meals to orphanages. We played with kids. Um, we went to villages to spread the word of God. We even painted houses and worked on farms, along with visiting hospitals and um, taking tours. Our trip was full of pouring out our love and helping whoever we could. By serving others, I could directly impact their lives for the better. The mission trip did benefit the people that I was serving, but it also impacted my life in an, in an equally in, as important way. First of all, I made new friends. My team and I didn't really know each other before, but afterwards we were like a family. Secondly, the trip opened my eyes and gave me a new outlook on life. It um, helped me see how many of, much of the world lives today. It helped improve my communication skills as I was interacting with many different types of people. Also, the trip helped me realize how grateful I am and how I shouldn't take things for granted. These people were living in mud huts and tents. They didn't have shoes, barely any had clothes. Um, there was a lack of food, dirty water, no electricity. And these are just a few of the things that many of us don't have to deal with daily, and it sure made me grateful for what I do have. Over 1.1 billion people in the world live on less than one US dollar a day. There are over 100 million homeless worldwide, and 13,600 children die every day due to malnutrition and disease. These are more reasons to help, but sometimes not enough to convince one to donate their time. Just last week, I went downtown with the organization Food for Souls. You might remember this from my Genius Hour talk. It was completely free for me to go in four hours on a Sunday. When, while downtown, we served the homeless in many ways, like um, handing out lunch. And um, people downtown lived in tents like people in Haiti. They were malnourished and some were sick just like people in Haiti. And it made me feel good to help people that lived in our own city that, like I helped in another country. Now, whenever I talk to others about mission trips, their first roadblocks are time and money. Now, going to a foreign country for a week sounds expensive, doesn't it? It really is, but that didn't stop me, and it shouldn't stop you either. The money. The money was paid back in more ways that money could ever buy. And as far as time goes, there's really not something more important you can do than helping the less fortunate. Lastly, when I say mission trip, your mind might go straight to religion or faith. But to serve others doesn't mean that you have to have a certain religion or not. It's just something that people who are fortunate need to do to help others. If that still isn't enough to get rid of your excuses, then what's your excuse for not going downtown maybe once a month to help the homeless in our own city? It's no cost, a couple of hours, and a whole load of benefits. A short-term missions trip is defined as a trip undertaken by groups comprised of members who travel to a new location to volunteer their efforts in completing helpful community projects while spreading the word of Jesus. Whether it's a trip to a foreign country or a quick trip downtown for the afternoon, the purpose is the same donating your time to help, other, to help the less fortunate. 
The mission trips I've been so blessed to experience have truly shaped my outlook on life, and they can do the same to anyone. They help you gain new friends. They um, open your eyes to the world. They help you realize how uh, grateful or how grateful you should be for things. Um, and lastly, they give you a feeling that um, I can't even describe the happiness that you see on people's faces when you help them is like the burst of energy after you ride a roller coaster. It's just when you see the kids at your legs um, that are hugging your legs when you give them a piece of candy or adults crying tears of happiness when um, you paint their house or are loving on their children. It's an amazing feeling. Most importantly, missions trips allow you to directly impact the lives of others that who need it. It is essential that people who can help do help people who really can't help themselves. The mission trips I've been on have inspired me to spread the importance of them as I have directly seen the impact on their life and my life as well. Mission trips can impact your own life in more ways than I can explain in 10 minutes, even more than the people that you are directly helping. So why not get out there and help others? Why not improve your own outlook on life as well as impacting someone else's life for good? And my last question for you is, what's holding you back? Thank you.